missed him by seconds. Rest assured, Lucifer will be found. And killed, before it causes any more problems. All those idiot Winchesters use him to open up a gate to Microland. Another stick up his ass, Archangel's the last thing I need. Yes, well, Lucifer is getting stronger and as good as I am, and I am very good. I don't think even I can beat the devil at full power. About that. You recall the important errand I had mentioned? Word it got back to me that a certain artifact I thought had been lost forever resurfaced. And now it's mine. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yes. The only known weapon capable of destroying an archangel. The Archangel Blade. You'll forgive me, but my reading of the law suggests that the blade is only effective if wielded by an Archangel. Oh, really? Thanks for the news flash. Allow me to make an introduction, Mr. Ketch. Meet the Archangel Gabriel. We have the seal, right? So all we need now is an Archangel and we're set. Sure, that sounds easy. <laughs> Wait, bitch. I come in peace. You're right. And I brought you a gift. <laughs> Gabriel? No, no, that's impossible. He, he's dead. We, we saw him die. Or did you? What did you do to him? Not me, Asmodeus. The prince was holding him prisoner until I liberated the poor man. And I understand you may need an archangel for a spell, perhaps. Well, what luck. We need his grace. Calm down. Calm down. Nervy. Yeah. Take that and uh, the Ark Angel Blade. But why would you? What's the catch? What do you want? Protection. From Asmodeus. The one you're working for? Was. Working for. But when he finds out that I stole his prize milk cow, well, I imagine that he'll hunt me to the ends of the earth. So... This is the only safe place I know. <laughs> what do you think, you're just gonna move in? Dibs on the top bunk? No, do you? What? I don't know what the hell's going on here. But if this helps us get Mom back, helps us get Jack back, then... Sure. Whatever you want. Oh, that. No. No, him? Yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> oh. So excited. <laughs> Sam? 
What is this? Is it, did he do this? Is it Anokian? It's his story. It starts with his death. Oh. Or what appeared to be his death. Per usual, my brother had double my brawn and half my brains. He assumed that the counterfeit me was what vanished that night, and he thought that he'd stabbed the real thing. The truth is, the thing Lucy skewered was a fake. There are plenty of fakes to go around. <laughs> Everyone believed Gabriel was gone. And suddenly, I was free. No obligation to God or heaven or mankind. And so I did what anyone would do. I moved to Monte Carlo and shacked up with Arsena. Guess, please. <clears throat> okay, so Gabriel was captured, delivered to Asmodeus. For years, I knew nothing but endless torture. <gasps> Asmodeus, once the weakest of Alice Princes, grew strong by feeding on my grace. Well, obviously his intellect is intact. Yeah. So why isn't he talking to us? I don't know. Maybe he can't. Or maybe he's choosing not to. Maybe he thinks it's safer that way. Then my family needed me. And this is my life. No matter how many times I try to fight it, this is what I was put here to do. This is where I make the world a better place. And sure, yeah, hookers and Monte Carlo sounds great, but your family needs you. Jack, your nephew, needs you. The world needs you. We need you. Gabriel, I need you. So please, help us. Stars. They were born stars, Sam. You know, you guys are lucky I'm low on juice considering what I did to the last guy who locked me up. You know what? We said we'd let you go just as soon as you tell us what the hell is going on here. Yeah, it, uh, it's not a fun story. Well, we just broke into a junkyard and stuck the body of a demigod into a car crusher, so I think you owe us some answers. Okay, they're not really demigods. Hmm. Look, the whole Norse pantheon is its own weird thing. Think of them more like uh, God-begotten monsters. Whatever. What do they want with you? I killed their brother. Why? Remember when I told you what happened after I faked my death at the Elysium Motel? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you went to a uh, monster. Yeah. Well, I left a few parts out. After Lucifer, quotation marks, killed me, I needed to lay low. Luckily, I used to hang with a pretty resourceful crew. Found me a real top-shelf hideaway. Goodness. I burned this book. You got nothing. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, all right? Look at this. Oh, the gods smile. Oh, come on. Ah, it's good. God. Gentlemen. No! Oh, what? Oh, oh, no. Come on. I had it made. All the booze I could drink, all the, uh entertainment I could handle. Okay, why don't we just skip to the end? <sighs> so this is how it ended. Hmm. At the time I came to, they had sold me to Asmodeus. Why would they do that? Hello, Lucifer. In case you don't remember, there was an apocalypse brewing at the time. We remember. Well, Vegas Odds had my bro pulling off a big win. Yeah, and whose fault was that? 
Fenrir, Sleipnir, and Narfi were just trying to cover their keisters. They needed to get rid of me before Lucifer figured out where they had me hidden. But selling me to that Kentucky Fried B-hole? For them? That was all profit. So you want revenge? Well, obviously. Roasting Osmodeus was uh, satisfying for a hot minute. But you know one thing better than killing him? Slaughtering them all. But since you're low on grace, you had to do it the old-fashioned way. With wood. Don't let anybody ever tell you you're just a pretty face. Yeah. All right. Anyway, if there are only uh, three gods or monsters or whatever, how come there are four swords? Oh, that top one? That is for the man with the plan. The architect of my torture and my own personal public enemy, numero uno. Their papa. Loki. Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs>